Hatim al-Assam was a great scholar, a great sage, and one day he finished giving the khutbah in the masjid, and as he finished his khutbah, he exited the masjid, and there was an old woman that was excited to see him and ask him a question. As she approached him to ask him the question, when she saw him, and obviously, you know, he was a great scholar of his time, so her excitement got the best of her and she was elderly. And when she saw him, she broke wind in a very, very loud way. Okay, so she passed gas and it was very loud. And <clears throat> she was extremely embarrassed when she did that. And Hatim and Assam, immediately seeing the embarrassment that she had when she, uh, when, when she loudly passed gas, uh, partly due to the excitement of seeing him, he pretended to not hear. So he said to her, excuse me, can you raise your voice? You know, and he started to do this to indicate that he was hard of hearing and he needed her to speak at a very loud voice so that he could hear what she was saying, thereby pretending like he didn't actually hear her uh, with that moment that was so embarrassing to her. And in order to keep it going, so he kept the conversation going and she spoke at a very loud voice so that he would be able to hear her, even though he could hear her before. In order to not make that woman feel bad, Hatim al assam not just for that moment, uh, held that, that image of, of one who was hard of hearing, <clears throat> but everyone in the immediate circle of that woman, Hatim al assam made sure that they did not break the news to her that he actually had heard or that he didn't have any hearing problems, that he would have heard uh, what, you know, uh, what happened in that moment. And subhanAllah, you think about that and that, that beautiful sensitivity that he had. And so he gained the nickname Hatim al assam <clears throat> the one who couldn't hear, even though he could hear. And you think about the beautiful incident there, the nature of that incident, and how these people went above and beyond to show good character and to demonstrate ihsan and excellence and compassion. And sometimes that means being sensitive to the person you're speaking to and uh, the person that's in front of you and making sure that you don't embarrass them, you don't humiliate them. And you even try to play off a situation where they're embarrassed or they're humiliated. And there's an incident that took place, by the way, in the time of Umar al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, where a large group of companions were together, or, or tabi'een as well, companions and people from the second generation. And there was a smell in the room. And Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, recognizing how embarrassing it would have been for the person to get up and make wudu, made everyone go and make wudu, including himself, so that man would not be singled out. Okay, so they didn't know what the source of it was, but everybody get up and let's go make wudu so that we don't make that person humi uh, feel humiliated. <clears throat> There's so much to take right now uh, in terms of benefit and blessing as we're overexposed to each other's lives through social media. And it's very easy to offend. It's very easy to stumble upon something that you weren't meant to stumble on. It's very easy to see someone in their embarrassing or humiliating moments, and it's easy to pile on. It's easy to share. It's easy to do something to indicate, uh, or to even worse, to, uh, to, to further complicate the situation of someone that's in an embarrassing or humiliating situation. And so what can we take from this great scholar, Hatim al-Assam, in that? Uh, that he was so concerned with hurting the feelings of that woman or letting that woman be embarrassed that he immediately went above and beyond to make sure that she did not feel like uh, she was even heard in that embarrassing moment of hers. And so how long think about how much it would have crushed her, right? Had he uh, said something or indicated some, some sort of disgust when she did so, but instead, uh, you know, he, he showed ihsan, he showed excellence. And so he wasn't just an excellent worshiper, but he was excellent in his character. And that's something that we can all take inshallah ta'ala. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that excellence in worship, that excellence in character, and that excellence in trust uh, that Hatim al Assam uh, rahimahullah ta'ala demonstrates in these different uh, areas of his life. Allahumma ameen. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing. And we will bring more videos in the future, inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.